Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you one small life hack I have. If you are a beater, if you're a jewelry artist as I am, you use a lot of needles, you break a lot of needles and I break a lot. I'm a, I pull hard my threads and I always like the tension and I end up breaking a lot and sometimes they don't break, sometimes they end up crooked and uh, I don't want to throw them away because I go through a lot of needles and you know it's just they cost a lot too so I came across a way to fix them sometimes you end up breaking them while fixing because here for example I have size 12 needle and see the way it's uh, bent it might end up breaking snapping once I try to fix it but it's still worth trying and um, today I'm gonna show you how I do it I came across this um, you guys probably seen one of my previous tutorial where I show you how to make your own head pins where um, you know manipulating with wire and stuff you end up with crooked wire and then you need a way to straighten it to have a straight head pin so that's where I used this nylon jaw pliers so I was like why can't I use it with needles so all you need for this hack is you need your chain nose pliers to hold your needle and you will need your nylon jaw pliers to straighten your needle so I'm just gonna go ahead, try with this one first. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Well, this is size 12 and I have no idea how I ended up with this, but first I'm gonna use my nylon jaw pliers to try and straighten that bit first. And then I'm just gonna, you know, try to, and then this part. You just have to be gentle though. You don't wanna end up snapping it. And then once it's more or less doesn't have the very sharp edges, I'm just gonna hold it in place with my chain nose pliers, take my nylon nose pliers and nylon jaw pliers and just straighten it. All I do is just, it's like you're trying to stretch it. So that should be, you know, able to remove the curves from your needle. And I do it several times because it's not exactly a wire. With wire, you do it just one or two times and it straightens up, but needles are not made of wire, so it's still, isn't it? Let me see. It still has, if you can see, it still has small edges. So I'm gonna do it a couple more times. So it's still a bit crooked. So I'm gonna try and straighten that up with my chain nose pliers again. So I'm just gonna take the thicker part and just, you know, push it in places where it's crooked. Then again, I'm gonna hold it in place. And again, pull it. And in places where you see like really bent here, I'm just gonna try and bend it the other way and then pull it. And I think that's the best I can get out of it. I don't want to end up breaking it, but still it's much better than it was. I can still use it now. And then I have this ones. They look like they're just, you know, a bit of bent, but they are bent in different directions, so it makes it impossible to pick up bits with it. So I'm just going to hold it in place with my chain nose plier and with my nylon jaw pliers, I'm going to try and straighten it. And I think it works better with this one. Not perfectly straight but it's more or less straight <laughs> that's what it is and now I'm gonna take this ones and look how crooked it is I don't know if you can see it's bent in different directions so when I hold it I can't really pick up beats because it keeps on sliding out because you can't really focus on it so I'm gonna hold it in place with my chain nose pliers and pull it Out. 
and here if you can see in some places where it's bent you can try to and you know just try to bend your you know instead of pulling it straight make a bit of degree and then should be able to remove that curve you'll understand what I mean if you try to do it a couple more times on your, on your own and it's more or less straight compared to the uh, to the other ones these are the ones I straightened and these are still the ones that I still have to do look it's much better I mean they are usable now so I'm just gonna remove this and I have two more to go hold it in place and pull it <laughs> Get this one already better. So I have four of my size 10 needles, and this is size 12, and they are usable again. I, I know they are still a bit curved, I don't know if you can see it in some places, especially this one, still has a tiny bit curves, but. It's more or less straight and I can use it again. I can pick up beads with it while before it was impossible. And these ones are more or less straight. It looks like it's easy actually to straighten up the bigger needles while the smaller ones, they still keep that uh, curve. I, I suppose it's just the memory of it. I don't know how it works, but you can just try a couple more times. I just wanted to show you how to do it. So all you need is your chain nose pliers, your nylon gel pliers and all your crooked needles. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Mm. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Feel free to ask your questions in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer. And I'll see you in the next project. Bye bye.